Our team coverage continues, and even though we did not get the brunt of this storm, Hurricane Ian has caused damage in our area. We know at least two tornadoes touched down in Broward County last night, so let's get right over to CBS 4's Joan Murray. She joins us from Cooper City with more on the damage there. Joan, how's it looking? Well, okay, thankfully nothing like what Southwest Florida is going through, but we did get bands last night here in Broward County, and that caused planes to flip over at the North Perry Airport. Some people had some home damage, some localized flooding, and here in Cooper City, they believe that there was a tornado touching down. You can see some of the remnants behind me, that tree uprooted and a stop sign down. We are in the Pine Lake Plaza off Palm Avenue, and today people in the area just started to clean up. Cooper City waking up Wednesday not to the sounds of birds chirping, but chainsaws buzzing as work crews move through neighborhoods, picking up tree limbs, branches, and debris from the Tuesday night storm that swept through South Broward with bands from Hurricane Ian. Babette Heron and her family muscling their way through some dense cleanup. We lost half of the tree for Irma, and then last night when that little tornado came by, it took part of it down. Residents here of Palm Avenue believe it was a tornado that hit in a flash Tuesday night. There were warnings at the time. Kaya Stedman had no power all night. We were able to charge our devices in the car and everything, but aside from that, it's really difficult to try and sleep. And then we have small children, so trying to get them to sleep. They can't use their electronics, no TV, no nothing. Most of the standing water is gone. The ducks enjoying what's left of it. The hope now the worst is over. We took turns staying up because those alarms kept going off for the warnings. <laughs> How about power? Did you lose power? We were fortunate enough that we only lost it for about an hour and a half. Okay. So not too bad. Now, still, Broward emergency management officials urging everyone to stay on guard. We don't know whether we're going to be getting more bans as this storm moves across Florida. Also, we're told that some traffic signals did go out and they are replacing them and that a number of county parks were closed because of flooding. Uh, we'll have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Reporting in Cooper City, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.